Hello, we're back today with the uh, with uh, Joy Joy's uh, political commentary network, and today I want to talk about uh, um, something that just happened that's uh, been going on with the uh, Butler High School right here in Louisville. Um, this high school is a public traditional high school and they have made a rule for black men, the black boys up there, telling them that they cannot have braids, dreads, and I don't know about the afros, but they're basically supposed to keep short hairstyles. Now I would like to honestly, which I'm kind of upset about and I think honestly I don't know who this principal really thinks he is running a school uh, telling telling a particular population how they're able allowed to wear their hair and to me JCPS is just honestly they just don't allow no room for students to be no, no, no room. No, it doesn't allow any room for being their uh, for for students to be their own individual. They basically just want every student to look like clones and be robots. A student can even be a good student. They could be an honor student, but still, it's not it's not what they look for. All they care about is how students look, and to me. I don't know what the, I mean, honestly, they should be more concerned about these kids getting education. And when you're sitting here telling a group of people how they're allowed to wear their hair, <coughs> that really has this just kind of going outside the boundaries of education. You know, they should be worried about, they should be more concerned about kids coming in and getting an education. And when you're sitting here telling students that they can't be themselves and they have to look a certain way, that inter that really inter interrupts and uh, basically interrupts the pro learning process. You know, they basically kids kids come there to learn, and you got to keep them interested and wanting to learn. And when you're sitting, when a t principal and the teachers are sitting there picking on students over of, over hairstyles, clothes, and just how they are as a person. I mean, if that's more important to them than how the students' grades are or anything else, I mean, they're not really scared. They're really messing. They're basically just making problems worse for the student. They're making them not want to be there. They're making them want to drop out of school. And they're just creating, I mean, bullies, you know. It tell it lets bullies know it's okay to pick on to uh, bully other students because they're not the same as they are, and and what I don't understand is if they're sitting there telling guys that they can't wear braids and dreads. I mean they're picking on black men. Now I would like to know. Now there's white guys that wear dreads. There's white guys that wear their hair long now. Now, if a white guy comes in, now they are they sitting there telling a white guy that it's okay for them to wear their hair long? Well, honestly, this is the way I look at it. If the principal feels that the guys should not wear their hair long, or if they feel that the black guys can't wear braids or nothing like that, why, why not just tell all guys all together, it doesn't matter if you're black, white, whatever, that every guy has to wear their hair cut short and the hair can't cut, touch the collar. But to me, I, I don't think that's right. You know, if it's, I mean, if that's what students are eventually going to have to do when they go to their job. You know, why not? Why can't these schools just give kids right now while they're still kids? Give them. I mean, let them have the opportunity to still be a kid. But you know, let them be who them who they want to be. Because that's how they're going to learn the best. And I think it's like if student, if these teachers or principals are going to be too 
are too preoccupied with how a kid looks, then maybe they need to take another job. And maybe they should go find them another job, go find them some other place to work. Because right now, the you know, I mean, students, students need the time to express who they are. And that's the end of my political commentary for Butler High School.